Hello students, today we are going to discuss about arithmetic mean individual series under direct method. My dear students, you know that measures of central tendency, measures of central tendency, central tendency. Measures of central tendency and Telugulo Kendra Stana Pukola Tuluanta. And these are two types. One is mathematical averages, and second one positional averages. Mathematical averages are again divided into three types. One is arithmetic mean, that is Anka Madhyamam. Anka Madhyamam. Next, Rundo the Geometric Mean. Geometric Mean and the Guna Madhyamam and Harmonic Mean. Hara Madhyamam. And when it comes to positional averages, positional averages, these are two types. One is Median. And another one is mode. Another one is mode. So, Kendra Stanapu Kolatalu. Evirundrakalu. Mathematical averages. Mariu. Positional averages. So, positional averages to mathematical averages. Lo, first one, Manam, we are going to discuss this one. Arithmetic mean, not A or arithmetic mean e arithmetic mean ante anka madhyamam anka madhyamam lo again three types are there one is individual series another one discrete series and another one continuous series anka madhyamam lo mari the tamshani Sagatuga average ga average ga lecker chedang samaninchi Vectigata strainalu Vichina strainalu Avichina strainal Mudra Kalga manam divide chedam the Ruthan. So we dilo Madati di manam Nechko both Namirodana individual series Vectigata strainalu individual series and day. Vectigata Srenalu. ENT Vectigata Srenalu Ante Vectigata Srenalu Ante Individuals Ante Income Tombay Rupalo Chinavalu Wakarevunta. Debay Rupalo Chinavalu Wakarevunta. So it la Pi example lo choose Napudu. Families total ga A to J work. Total in a night, ten families. So A income ninety, B income seventy five, itla up to J work, J income six hundred. Okay, so income no manamu x value and term. income x value. And the variable and matter. Variable and variable means English Telugu lo chala rasi and term. chala rasi and a. Manamu Waka variable yaka nature no Kanukodani ki Manam E measures of central tendency what Tamani Miktels. Okay na you know that to know the nature of variable we use measures of central tendency and you know the meaning of measures of central tendency. Measures of central tendency means finding an average. Finding an average. Average is of two types. As I said earlier, mathematical averages, positional averages. And mathematical averages are again divided into arithmetic mean, geometric mean, and harmonic mean. Okay. And positional averages are divided into median and mode. Okay. So here we are going to discuss about individual series. 
So the formula regarding individual series, the formula regarding individual series under direct method is arithmetic mean is equal to summation x by n. Summation x by n. So what is arithmetic mean? Right, the symbol. The symbol for arithmetic mean is, is this one x and on on top of the x you have to draw a bar. So that is arithmetic mean symbol. Arithmetic mean symbol. Okay. And what do you mean by summation x? Summation x means total of variables size total of okay total of variable size so in the in the above example in the above example if you observe all these incomes 90 75 60 100 125 50 80 125 100 600 so if you total all those things that is called summation x summation x and n is equal to number of items here number of items means actually it is called as frequency okay so number of items means here there are 10 families a b c d e f g h i j so, you can see the families in the families. The average income is the individual series. The protection method is the same. Okay, let us do this problem. Okay, and before that, you have to understand the steps for doing this problem. Okay. So here the first step is the first step to do problem under individual series is step one. Step one is so first total or add up add up all the all the sizes are items of VA or a variable X. So here the x the x variable is income okay so income is the variable okay and next second step is second step step number two is divide divide the total total with number of items so items are here 10 let us do this problem okay so now take here family name okay family name family name is a b c d e e f g h i j okay so total how many families there are n number of families that is 10 okay and here income what is the family income that is x variable so here income a family income is 90 and when you come to b 75 it is 16 in case of c 100 in case of d 125 in case of E, 15 case of F, okay, 18 case of G, 
and 120 in case of H and 500 okay 500 in case of I and 600 in case of J okay so here my dear students when you total all these total or add up total or add up all the size that is items of variable X if you add all these incomes you will get the total and the total is denoted as summation x and the total comes to 1600 when you add this okay right very good so now let us apply the formula let us apply the formula so here the formula already we have written isn't it here we have written the formula and now we are going to apply that formula in a practical way divide the total so first total or add up all the sizes that is equal to summation x summation x is equal to again i write this symbol for arithmetic mean okay so 1600 divided by number of items that is n is equal to number of items that is frequency that is equal to 10 so here you have to cancel 0 0 so the remaining is 160 so now average income of family of those 10 families is equal to 160 rupees 160 that's all my dear students it is very easy to calculate arithmetic mean under individual series of direct method. Okay. So, based on this problem, I am going to give you two important problems as homework. You have to do those two problems. And those two problems are, number one, calculate arithmetic mean of the monthly income of the families in Indira Nagar of Anantapur. Indira Nagar of Anantapur. Okay. So, this is the first problem you have to do. Okay. So, based on above problem, you have to do this problem. Okay. So, here there are again 10 families and their incomes are entirely different from the first problem. Okay. And second one is regarding marks of students. Here, roll numbers are there. Okay, there are 10 students and their marks are given uh, below the roll number. Isn't it opposite to roll numbers? So, the answers are also given. Okay, so for the first problem, answer is 11.6 and for the second problem, answer is 53. Okay. My dear students, after understanding the example problem, okay, after understanding it, you have to do on your own these two problems. Okay. So, thank you my dear students for watching this uh, program and I will be back with another problem that is individual, se individual series shortcut method. Okay. Until then,